Now, there's confusion in Westminster this morning over whether a vote in the Commons last night, which led to MPs being manhandled, was a judgment of confidence in Liz Truss or not. And the question of whether her MPs are behind her is central to how long she remains in office. Should we speak to one of them? Transport Secretary Anne-Marie Trevelyan, who's in Westminster. Good to speak to you this morning. A difficult morning to come out and go to bat, and we really appreciate you are coming out and speaking to us. Um, is Liz Truss still the right person to lead your party and the country? And will she still be the Prime Minister tomorrow morning, in your view? Strong uh, government which is delivering a really important uh, programme of legislation. And the reason, uh, other than discussing the wider political uh, turbulence of yesterday, is that today we're bringing in, I'm bringing in, minimum service le legislation uh, to ensure that when there are strikes on our transport modes, we will uh, be assured of a minimum service level. This is something that, obviously, we have all been feeling over the summer as... Uh, transport unions have come out on strike. In some areas, there has been no service at all. This is not acceptable. Uh, whilst, of course, uh, we uh, really recognise, and I personally respect, uh, the uh, right for strike, we cannot allow uh, rail unions or indeed any others to hold uh, our businesses, our, our nurses, our children trying to get school to ransom by not providing uh, public transport. So we're bringing in this legislation which will allow uh, operators and unions to work together to set out a framework which is always a minimum level of service. So this is really important, part of a big package of uh, legislative work that we're doing. So uh, the Prime Minister set out in particular, obviously, the energy price guarantee and the security of our energy supply, critical not only uh, to make sure that okay. uh, we can afford it, but in order to bring inflation down. So we have a lot to do, uh, and the Prime Minister is leading right. us in doing OK, that. so look, full marks for getting out your point of the thing that you're doing and telling us that the government is still going. The problem is, is we've seen legislation, we've seen things brought in, we've seen a mini-budget which transformed and caused all sorts of turbulence, is the softest way of putting it, and then we've seen it undone. So you're trying to carry on come out and say the work that you want done. Meanwhile, we can't ignore what's going on, can we? You know, will Liz Truss be in charge tomorrow? Uh, yes, she will. And the turbulence that we saw yesterday uh, around, obviously, um, the uh, Suella Braverman uh, resigning as Home Secretary because she uh, she's, a, she's a friend of mine and, indeed, uh, someone with very... Uh, strong, uh, you know, morals. She felt that she, uh, in breaking the ministerial code, she needed to stand down because as a Home Secretary, uh, it was important to demonstrate uh, that leadership. And indeed, Grant Shapps, who was my predecessor at Transport, a very experienced, very experienced Cabinet Minister, is coming in uh, to continue the incredibly important work that the Home Office does day in, day out, 24-7, in keeping us all safe. So these are turbulence, of course they are, but actually uh, back on track. Grant is now uh, in charge of doing those things and we all, each of us around that Cabinet table, work together uh, to push forward on the legislation that we need. Of course, uh, we saw with the mini-budget some of those uh, uh, positions around uh, tax reductions, uh, the Prime Minister has said so herself, Most uh, of them. put it's forward some too of them. fast. Well, yes, the you know, energy price guarantee, uh, those really important uh, issues that were absolutely critical. And over the summer, uh, as the okay. uh, election was going on, that right. was the most okay. important thing. So that is we, now in we, place. I'm uh, can we get to the point that really matters, people at home right now? Mm -hmm. Is Liz Truss the best member of your party? Is she the best person in this higher Conservative Party to be leading the country right now? Do you believe she is? the most skilled, uh, the most yes, ta and, talented, and she is and the right person to be in that really job. Really importantly, of course, we are a democratic party and she was elected uh, by our members. We had a uh, selection process over the summer after Boris Johnson uh, stood down. She wasn't and, elected uh, by the was... country. And at the last count, seven Conservative MPs have now called for her to go. The latest, just a few moments ago, Gary Streeter. Sadly, it seems we must change leader, but even if the angel Gabriel now takes over, the parliamentary party has to urgently de rediscover discipline, mutual respect and teamwork if we are to govern the UK well and avoid slaughter in the next election. I mean, how can you say he has the support? Uh, she has the support. Uh, clearly, the support is, is going by the minute. 
I think exactly to Gary's point, uh, discipline and mutual support uh, is what's needed, and that's what uh, we are all doing uh, now that uh, the new Home Secretary is in place. We will be cracking on with doing that and working with colleagues for those who felt, and I think there was some disruption yesterday, which I know Mr Speaker will look well, into. Of course there, uh, to well, ensure, of course there was to disruption. That there you had a situation where, you know, it, there was a, a missive, an email sent out, that you would say it was a three-line VIP, that this was a vote of confidence and a vote, uh, a confidence motion for the government. Then you had it saying, no, it wasn't a confidence motion and there was some confusion as to whether uh, that was coming from Liz Truss or not. And then this morning, this morning, we, we find out that actually the chief whip, who was resigned and then not resigned, uh, is now saying actually it definitely was a vote of confidence and anybody who didn't vote... Uh, will be looking at appropriate disciplinary action. So, you know, how can you feel delighted, confident, getting on with the job with a new Home Secretary when the last Home Secretary was the shortest to hold that office since the 1800s? I think it, 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 it doesn't help you to convince people there's control when we all can see this confusion and you can't address it. So, uh, last night's, uh, you know, the photos that Chris Bryant has put up on Twitter, uh, if they uh, indeed indicate that yeah. there was uh, poor behaviour, I hope very much that Mr Speaker will uh, deal with that because we are a parliament where, uh, you know, respect is around the world because we have a genuine uh, freedom in how, as MPs, we cast our vote. It was a three-line whip for the very reason, as it often is, because it was an opposition day debate. Uh, not only were Labour trying to uh, uh, make the point that they wanted us to stop our uh, new programme works around our energy security package uh, to do consultations on fracking in communities uh, where they uh, want to have that. But importantly, they had also hijacked the order paper and were trying to take over the legislative programme. Now, that, yeah, that means wasn't clearly... that where the confusion was. The confusion no, let me finish, was Kate. the fact the reason... that there was a three-line whip and then there wasn't and then there was and there so was there a was, resignation and there, there was wasn't a three -line and there whip. was. There was a three-line whip all the way through. That never changed. A three-line whip is a very clear direction. The government needs you to support in order to reject the opposition's attempt in those days. And so that's what it was. Uh, what we uh, will see, and I have no doubt that business managers Not will pick Jacob it up today... Not what Jacob Rees-Mogg said yesterday. It's not what he said. He said that he was there to try and help clear up confusion that actually it wasn't. I mean, the, the messages that have been coming out are very hard to, to keep that clarity. So the important thing is it was a it was a three line whip and everyone knew that of course by people uh, in every situation and maybe away maybe paired with opposition members may indeed uh, need to abstain from a vote because they've got a particular constituency issue this is quite normal uh, and indeed the whips always go through and discuss with those who didn't cast their vote on a three line whip uh, as to the reason why and if there is uh, no uh, justifiable reason then disciplinary measures are brought in. Uh, Andrew Trellin, the, the people on both sides of the House, both sides of the House are calling this chaotic and disorder that they've, they've never seen in modern times. The most disruptive they've seen, our democracy and our government. Are you proud of being part of this government right now? Can you hold your head high, shoulders high and say, yes, I am absolutely proud of what's going on right now in our Houses of Parliament? So, uh, the uh, scenes last night and the... Uh, accusations I am not at all proud of and I hope very much that Mr Speaker uh, will uh, ensure that that uh, situation cannot happen again. I am very proud to be the Transport Secretary in this government, to be delivering an incredible uh, programme uh, of uh, investment across the country, bringing in a 21st century railway system, bringing in, as I say, minimum service level uh, legislation so that we can rely uh, on a reliable and effective transport system for okay. people to get to work. That is such an important part of the toolkit, the public services uh, that we deliver so that people can right. get on uh, and uh, have Anna successful Richard, lives. A, a lot of people will say you've had 12 years to do that, but thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's 8.45.